Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Mark Ash and I'm the uh, Managing Director here at Awesome. Today we've got something, uh, again, a little bit different. We've got what I'm going to introduce you to as the ASBO or the Section 59. Uh, we'll explain a little bit why later on. Um, I've also got a colleague with me today. Um, some people say his real name is Simon and that his anus is the shape of the Nürburgring. Tammy. Okay, that's uh, some introduction. Uh, one of those things is a fact, uh, the other not so much. Um, yeah, so today we're going to focus a little bit on the younger driver. Um, we've got Connor's Polo GTI, the 6C, uh, with the IS20 APR upgrade on there. So today we're going to go out, we're going to drive the car, we're going to talk a little bit about what modifications are on there, um, what's available for you know the younger driver. Um, as Matt would call it, uh, an ASBO, and tend to find that the younger drivers like the louder cars, they like the pops and bangs, they like you know those kind of modifications. So, um, should we should we have a look around the car now while we're here? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, let's just go with the outside of the car. So I mean, the first thing, obviously, that that stands out for me is the uh, the it looks like it's got a brand new set of uh, racing line brakes on it yeah so quite recently fitted um, it's got the racing line monoblock front rotors on there he's got uh, also recently fitted he's fitted the uh, Seat Leon Cupra uh, Mark 1 rear brakes on there so it has the power obviously to go and it's got the stopping power to match as well um, you know sensible not like all younger people, but uh, you know, he's gone with a Michelin Pilot Spot 4S is on there, so you know he can he can go fast, he can stop fast, and you know it should handle really well. And this is also running, I believe, a set of H and R springs. Okay. Um, so again, yeah, suspension upgrades are there. You know, he's done it really in, in the right right way. He's got the power, he's got the stopping capabilities, he's got the handling capabilities there, uh, which you know. When you're taking a car like way outside of you know what it was intended to do from factory, you know you, you're taking it away from you know what the, the standard brakes were intended to do. Um, so yeah, you really need to look at upgrading sort of your brakes when you're putting a lot more power into these vehicles. Right, guys. So this is of uh, underneath the bonnet of the car. Um, as you can see. The great thing for about a young driver is there is, Tabby, you want to explain, there's a lot yeah, of things I mean, hidden that... A lot, a lot of the modifications just, you can't see, and the main modifications, uh, the turbo obviously is upgraded from an IS12 to an IS20, which is found in the, like the, Max, the likes of the Mark 7 GTI. Um, intercooler, you know, that's hidden behind the bumper, you can't see that. Upgraded spark, spark plugs, plugs that's, yeah. downpipe. Um, you know, to, to, to look at the only in, thing you can really see is, is the, the is, hose, is the red silicon hose. There. And inside here is obviously an upgraded uh, yeah. ram air panel filter. Uh, and obviously, the main workings is actually down here behind the engine, um, which is, as Tabby's just said, is the turbo upgrade. I mean, one of the other beauties of it is you know, very little modifications to make you know, upwards of 300 horsepower out of one of these little things is pretty phenomenal, really. Yeah, and the great thing is when mum or dad looks underneath the bonnet they actually don't know that modifications have been done, <laughs> which is always a cool thing. <laughs> right, let's get out of the car. You got it? Are you driving first? We're going first, yeah? Okay, so we're just going to take the car for a spin and uh, we'll uh, see how she sounds and how she drives and how she performs. Right, so... Let's right, fire, shall fire we fire up? up? See fire what we got. Okay. okay, so first of all, <coughs> back seats are we've got no back seats. Um, why is, why is do you believe he's getting some uh, Sparco race seats? Um, bit of a track car vibe going on. So up. we're going to have a little bit of noise in here, uh, Asbo hell style. A, hell of a lot of noise. A lot of noise, so hopefully you can hear us. Um, it is raining. I am driving, so that's safe. <coughs> well, better it's than, Better than Tabby driving, trust me. Well. 
not in a BMW. So, so okay. So, first of all, I want to get to grips, Tabby, is, is to feel a little bit of how, the, how this car actually drives. Um, I think it's a One of the biggest problems uh, we're going to have is, is hearing. <laughs> obviously, with the audio, it's super loud in this car. Um, very loud. Uh, yeah, but I feel. Okay. You know, the, the great British, British weather has done us an injustice by obviously making it rain, as per, but, uh, you know, we're going to struggle for traction a little bit, I'd imagine. But let's give it a whirl. Uh, so, I'm already getting the feeling that this is definitely a young boy's car. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, we, we drive a lot of cars in the, in the business that we do, and... Uh, this is quite, this I mean, this is we, quite say, we say that, I mean, the way, I, th I think some of the select modifications are the you know, definitely the young guys. Yeah, um, and, and in particular, the Asbo exhaust that oh, we've yeah. got on here. So yeah. what's the modification? Because that's that's not, that so, I mean, like, I know we're, we're, it's insinuated, it, it's a lot more um, aggressive sounding because obviously the seats aren't in, but it acts in fact, yeah, from so outside of the car, it's, it's very loud as a well. A lot of the, you know, the noise insulation you would normally get from, you know, the seats being there and, you know, would, would completely, de well, say completely, would, it, it, even with this exhaust system, we wouldn't be having so much noise inside okay, the car. So let's just get a feel for this on the round about this, this suspension, how it handles. Like, in the wet, it's like good. Just get it on the ragged edge. Yeah, sort of Suspension's pretty firm, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it handles pretty well. It's, for me, it's like a little go kart. Uh, but you know, going back to what you mentioned before about it being a young guy's car, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that's completely accurate. I mean, I think it is a pocket rocket. It's a small car. It's a small hatchback. Um, with some serious potential. But even in terms of you know an IS20 hybrid, uh, so then you you know you're still getting that a little bit earlier spool, but still having that top end power. You know something from TTE, uh, you know and the likes, and it makes some serious power. So how does car. this actually, I mean obviously it's wet at the moment and we'll, we'll, we'll stop and we'll, we'll do a pull away and see how it goes through the gears, but how does this, if you were, when obviously this was mapped, obviously we, you took this out and road tested and how did it actually get the power down? Because I think that's what the interest is, is always on upgrading in a front wheel drive car to I think quite a high power. It's, it's important, you know, how you introduce the torque, um, you know, keeping it quite linear or, you know, help get traction before it builds. If, you, if you're coming in too strong, too low down, then you know, you're just gonna really suffer from traction issues if you've got, you know, if you've got good traction, good tires and things like that, you know, certainly helps. But I think for me, it puts the power down pretty well. Um, it's quite a smooth delivery. Um, Brake pedal on this car. I mean, it's actually uh, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, really I know that these these brakes were only fitted probably I think about two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, I asked Connor to make sure that uh, bedded them that in he bedded them in, you know, properly four or five hundred miles. And we had a conversation about that. Yeah. Um, brakes, obviously, I know that uh, he would have been busily cleaning the car last night, but the the, the brake pedal. I mean, it's there. Yeah, it's really. You know, I haven't done this with heavy braking yet, that's but a it's the pedal, and I think that's really important. Oh yeah, that's the like pedal a, feels, and there's not not a lot of travel on that. As I mentioned before, you know the importance of you know if you're upgrading your power, being able to you know stop is you know super important. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that you know even even when they're upgrading to stage three on the on the likes of the Golf R's and the GTI's, S3's, etc. People don't consider the brakes at that point no. until obviously, you know, a, a, a tuning, tuning shop or garage obviously lets them know of it. Let me just uh, pull over and let's just you test could, a little bit of a pull away. You could, see how I mean, it puts the power down. You're upgrading your car, you, you want to be... Right there, and you know, I had a little bit of a, a little bit of 
bit of spin, but it was spinning hot, but it soon got the power down and, and yeah. it was no spin in second and third. I mean, that, it, it really did, you know, quite well. I'll just give you a little bit of experience for the last time that Tabby drove uh, one of our cars. Um, it was actually our uh, BMW M2 competition, and uh, I don't think what happened? Said. What happened there on track? Did you did you uh, want to get the rear end out and ended up I nearly just, brighting the car off? I just wanted to go drifting across the grass and narrow, narrow, narrowly, narrowly miss the tire wall. But you know. So let's just do that again. So. Second gear, uh, let's just see how uh, the turbo comes in. So we're sitting at what, two and a half, two and a half thousand RPM? Yeah. And foot down. Six thousand RPM, change, and corner. Yeah, I mean, them brakes, they're good, they're very good. You wanna, you wanna fight your car like this, you wanna be spending, you know, 1,500 quid to probably 3,000 pound on a, a diesel brake. Uh, I think it's one of the things that you know try to emphasize on is one of the things people forget uh, as well as like as we've seen before in the past is is regular regular maintenance i mean people think they can modify the car to such a level and then continue on the uh, recommended volkswagen specifications for oil changes for changes things well, like that. it just doesn't just doesn't work i mean i mean that's just, i think we've talked about this before in one of the other videos that we did but one of, one of the most essential uh, things for us on the servicing side is, is the oil. Now, we upgrade the oil to, um, mostly we use is the uh, Miller's Nano yeah, Drive. This is the Miller's Nano Drive. Uh, and that's a triple ester based oil, so that that basically protects all the moving parts a lot more. Yeah, a lot yeah. More. so the, the ester base has a little bit more protection, than, well, quite a lot more protection uh, than the molly based stuff. Uh, but, it, but, it, but it will, it, <laughs> I mean, it needs changing more often, so I mean, yeah, our I feel, recommendation I feel like it, it, it's not a long life oil, you know, in, in most respects. It, 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 for in its life, it, it works really well, but, you know, something like this, um, you know, I would recommend, you know, a maximum of about 6,000 miles between oil changes on something like this. And, but if you're tracking this car, so if this, well, if, if this was, this car was... People will have different opinions on this, but, you know, as you know, with any of our stuff, if it, it's out on the track, it, it gets an oil change before and it gets an oil, oil change, change after. Because yeah. so generally, we're not, we're not ruining on, the properties yeah. of the oil because of the heat. Uh, generally as well, depending on the actual physical, you know, ambient temperature as well. If it's a really hot day, we might look at changing the uh, grade of oil altogether just, you know, to help. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. So, we've got, we got a bit of a clear road yeah, here. Yeah, so it's, I do, I really like it. Yeah. The Asmo noise, uh, maybe I'm a little bit because obviously the seats are out. Um, or your old age. <laughs> wow. No, I, you know, I've, I've, to I be have... honest, it's, it's, it is a, uh, you know, people love it. Some people love it, some people would hate this. Uh, but, you know, it's like I said before, it's all about you know, the customer, what they want, uh, what they like, you know, Connor, Loves it. Um, absolutely loves the car. Yeah, when well, you can tell by you know obviously the money that you spent on the car, uh, and 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 most people at this level um, or, or on this car normally 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 just go to a stage one. You know, yeah. um, Connor's Connor's. I think Connor's in. Um, he's in one of the polo. Um, he's in uh, one of the polo groups. I've been on the polo, been on the polo group. Yeah, so. And of course, he's he's decided to go up to the next level. Um, so. I mean, if you're on that group, obviously, uh, and we'll try and get the link to the group and put it in yeah, the, yeah. Uh, uh, put it yeah. in the page. Yeah. Well, you said if you're on there enough. Be, 
Yeah, yeah. ask social media moguls. Or, uh, a bit of a bump there. A bit of a bump, yeah. Yeah. But ask, ask Connor about how the car drives, you know, and, and get some information. And um, Because for me, this is... It's, it's, my opinion, driving the car now has changed already. Yeah, I mean, I've, like I say, if it wasn't noisy, the seats were in, you could drive this car every day. And yeah. really enjoy it. Such, such a responsive car. Um, it's such a little car, it's just like a, a little rocket. Um, like a little car. Yeah. Compared to the other car. Yeah. To the, other. <laughs> the thing to the thing. The thing to the thing. Yes. Right, guys, I think, uh, you know, yeah, we've we talked a lot. Like, you like a big car. Tabby's talked a lot. Penis, I always talk a lot. Extension. See, now, now we're going to have to go because Tabby's now talking about penis extensions and, um, you know, that's, oh, that's, 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 all I, that's all I've got to say. Penis out. Right, guys, uh, as always, uh, Tabby's gone red. Yeah. Well, I was going to do the side out now, but it's not really. We're going to do that outside the car, can't we? Side up outside the car. Yeah. Okay. Penis. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh, what a dickhead! What's that? No space on the memory card. Me. That guy. <laughs> well, we've got that, so let's well, go. Hopefully, that you can hear us, though. Okay, guys, so thanks for. I'm taking the lead on this one. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, this is Connor's uh, APR stage three, I guess you could call it, uh, IS20 Polo 6C GTI. Um, I think Mark. Enjoyed driving it? Yeah, I take back the ASBO and the Section 59. It's actually been quite enjoyable to drive. Uh, excuse the noise of the roller shutter coming in. Obviously, more work coming in the workshop. Um, yeah, I've loved it. It's, it's been a great car. Suspension good, brakes good, power delivery good. Um, loved everything about it. Quite, quite surprised. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you guys are inspired by, obviously, what this Polo can achieve. Um, so yeah. yeah, I mean, exactly, Polo, great possibilities, great prospect, you know, and there's even more to be had, I guess, on, you know, everything that Connor's done on this one. Um, Connor, you need an IS38 upgrade next, so um, I'm going to put that on the channel so that it puts you on a bit of peer pressure. For sure. Good stuff, thanks guys, see you later.